So we're going to solve this using the quadratic formula. So let me explain how I'm going to grade this paper that you have in front of you. The first thing you need to do is you're going to get scored one point um, for setting it equal to zero. So, for example, when I look at this, this, this quadratic formula thing only works when we set something to equal to zero. So I'm going to add two to both sides on this one. Two minus two is zero. Then uh, this becomes negative 48. And then this becomes, everything else is the same. V squared minus 2V. So that's one point making sure that it's equal to zero. Now, some of them you won't have to do that, but that's okay. Just make sure that's one point. The next one will be, you're going to get one point each. So it's, uh, let me just write it three points. Well, I'll just make it one point because I don't want to. One point, you're going to label slash define uh, A, B, and C. So when I look at this, what do, what do I mean by that? Well, we're going to have these rigged up in a way where it's <laughs> A times X plus B times, or A times X squared, B times X, and um, plus C. So what I would do is I would go, well, this is 1B, so I'm going to say A equals 1. B, then, is the number in front of V to the first power. So that is equal to negative 2. And then C is equal to negative 48. So that's one point. One point, and I do want you to write this down every time. It'll be so easy. Write quadratic formula. Okay. So I'm going to write the quadratic formula, which is uh, x is equal to b squared plus or minus I'm sorry, I wrote it down wrong. <laughs> it's negative B. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. Okay? I want you to write that formula down for every one of these 10 problems. Why do you think I want you to write it down? Huh? Did you say because I, I don't like you guys? No, that's not it. Well, so you don't get the equation wrong, but I'm trying to put it in your brain. I got to get it in your brain 27 times. And one of the easiest way to learn a formula is to just write it down on every one of the homework problems and every time you do the notes. So a lot of times I'll write this formula down, and then when I walk around, you guys are taking your notes. You don't write the formula down, and then when you go to take the test, you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't remember what it is. So I'm just trying to help you memorize it, okay? So that'll be worth one point. And then we got to get the answer. So the answer is worth, uh, I'll make it worth two points, so it's five points each. each. Really easy peasy. Two points. Right answer. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? We'll make it one point because I want you to graph it to verify it. Dang it. And then one point to sketch the graph.
Okay. So now the algebra part is the hard part here. So I'm going to say x is equal to minus, what is b? Negative 2. So wherever there's a b, I'm going to plug in negative 2. So this will become negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 48. All over 2 times a, which is 1. Now this is the hard part. you got to do one step at a time. What's When you subtract a negative number, what does it become? In other words, when you minus a minus, it becomes a positive 2. And then you got to do this square root stuff. What is uh, negative 2 squared? Four. Positive 4. Minus, uh, now I'm going to break out the calculator on this one. Um, I'm going to say negative 4 times 1 times negative 48. That's a positive 192. All over 2 times 1, which is 2. So then, in my next step, notice I'm writing every little teeny tiny step down. Um, I'm going to say 2 plus or minus the square root of 196 all over 2. And then I'm just going to see if I can take the square root of 196. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. 196, yeah, it's 14. So I actually end up with 2 plus or minus 14 all over 2. Now from there, I've got to I've got to split this part. So x can equal 2 plus 14 divided by 2 or x can equal 2 minus 14 all over 2. So what's 2 plus 14? 16 divided by 2, which is a positive 8. Then I'm going to do the other solution. Um, 2 minus 14 is negative 12, all over 2. So that's negative 6. Now, my, let's talk about this. x equals 8, or x, actually it should, I should say and and x equals negative 6. Those are our, now, do you guys remember all the names for this? That's our solution. Those are our zeros. They're the roots. Why are they the roots? Because I took a square root. And they are also our x-intercepts, right? So when I go to graph this thing, where do you expect this to cross the x-axis? At x equals 8 and x equals negative 6. So let's zoom out. And you guys can open up your, uh, you could do it on the calculator if you want to, or you could do it on Desmos. Quite frankly, I don't care. And so the original equation was x squared, well, it's v squared, but I'm going to have to put x in for the calculator, minus 2. And here's an interesting thing. You can type it exactly how you see it. So I'm going to say x, well, you have to change the variable to x. So x minus 2x minus 50 equals negative 2, right? And I'm going to zoom out. It's a crazy looking graph. Holy moly, look at that. That's insane. So I, let me zoom in so you don't need the whole... It is a U-shaped thing, but this is... 
minus 6 and 8. See how I did that? And that you can just sketch. You don't need to put in the graph because the numbers are way too big or way too small. Are there any questions on that? Okay, I'll leave that up for just a second. And you could sketch it like you could just sketch the graph, right? We know that it's going to open up because we have a positive A term, right? If A is positive, then it opens up. So you could just kind of sketch a graph like this. It kind of goes. But I really want you to verify it in Desmos, though. I want you to plug it in the Desmos. And so this would be 8, comma, 0. This is how you could sketch it in on the, on the paper. And uh, this would be negative.